the way the world is going astray. And so every little topic that seems to come up is causing division. I mean, just look on Facebook. You'll see Starbucks. Starbucks taking their snowflakes and, and Santa Claus is off their cups and it's got everyone on an uproar. It's like the last thing I heard is Starbucks wasn't a Christian organization, so why are we surprised? <laughs> but but why are we going to be in an uproar and boycotting because they don't put that on there? It's, you know, it's, they never did um, acknowledge Jesus Christ. They acknowledge the holiday season, and you know we got to we we got to we're called to be something different. We're called to be something better in this life. You know. Um, the refugees coming over, the, the world is just, uh, this whole nation split up and divided over it. Um, every little issue that comes up, it causes division. We're called to be something different. We're called to be something better. We're called to rely on God and, and to seek God and to be a beacon for Him, to shine His light on this world, to be, to be something different. If the world sees us, just getting all mad and yelling and venting about these atrocities and stuff. What are they going to see in us? God says it's going to happen. This book tells us these things are going to happen. We need, we don't need to be stirred up. or You know what? We just need to shine God's light through all of this and be the people he's calling us to be and search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. And we can offer peace and hope to people because of the peace and hope that we have in us. And the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ after you, after you have suffered a little while will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. Amen. You know, we are going to go through stuff, but we don't have to go through stuff. We don't have to go through it. We can just... You know, I, I, I was seeing a blog talking about um, this one guy just venting on the knot of this world. Oh, that's a Christian thing, and they got to show themselves something different, that they're better than this world, and they're not a part of it. Who do they think they are? <laughs> but seriously, we got to walk in this world, and we got to be a part of it, but we don't have to be a part of the things going on. We're, we got to walk through this world, but we got to show the people something different. And that's the life we've been given. And no matter what comes against us, we need to shine His light. This is where our trust comes from. This is, this is where our hope comes from. Just to rely on Him through all of this stuff. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to hit us from all sides. We just need to share His light and His love through it all. That's where our hope comes from, our eternal hope, our strength, just to rely on God through it all. Father, we just thank you, Father, that we can trust in you, that we can hope in you, Father, that you, you're, this book is so full of promises that you'll never leave us nor forsake us, that when we endure it for a little while, you will strengthen us and make us firm and steadfast, Lord. I just thank you, Father, that, that you have not abandoned us to this world, but, you, but you're there with us through every step. Father, let us not get so sidetracked or shipwrecked about our situation that we forget to come to you and give it to you over it. Lord, help us to be our first reaction and say, oh, you got this, Lord. I love that. You got this, Lord. I just thank you, Father, that we can trust in you. And that we have this opportunity to, to give to you, Lord. To, to open up our hearts and surrender it all to you, Father. That we can give to you and, and um, out, of, out of a cheerful heart, Lord. Not out of an obligation, but out of a loving heart, Father. We'll be giving to you, Father, because you've given us all things. And that you still want us. Bless the offering, Lord, and bless those who give, bless those who cannot give, Father. It's our hearts you're after, <coughs> and I just pray, Lord, that all of the hearts here are, are hearts towards you, Father. Hearts opened and surrendered to you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.